I'd like you to please do me a favor and hear me out in this video. Um, if you've clicked on this video, there's a good chance that you are contemplating committing suicide. And I want you to do something before you make that final decision. Um, let me read a verse of scripture from the King James Bible here. James chapter 1 verse 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given unto him. I want you to stop the video here just a minute, and I want you to pray and say, God, I want wisdom. I want to know the right thing to do here. Okay? Just pray that. All right? If you've prayed that, and you're back, and you truly meant that, that you want to know what God would have you to do. That's step number one. Because you see, there's a lot of deceit out there. That's probably one of the reasons why you're contemplating taking your life because there is so many there are so many liars out there so many people that are trying to take advantage of you so many people that you thought cared about you and they don't really so many people that have broken your heart um, the hotlines and whatever else if you go to the doctor you could call a hotline say I'm thinking about committing suicide they can't really help you the help that you can get is from this Bible right here you go to the doctor you say I need I need help I'm thinking of committing suicide They'll put you on medication and make your problems worse. Okay, There is only one solution, and that is your Creator. That's why I had you pray to God. And uh, if you haven't done that yet, if you are just kind of continuing to watch the video, please actually pray. Stop the video and pray and ask God, please give me wisdom. I don't want you to believe me. I don't want you to take my advice or whatever. I want you to rely on the Scriptures. Okay? Step number two. Understand that great men in the Bible, many of them, were suicidal. Okay, The Bible doesn't paint a, a pretty beautiful picture of everybody in the Bible just did perfectly and, and had a wonderful life and everything else. That's not reality, as you've come to find out with your life. Let me give you a couple of verses of Scripture here, things to think about. Jonah chapter 4, verse 3. The prophet Jonah says here, Therefore now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Better to die than to live. Isn't that suicide? You say, yes, it is. Then why would there be a whole book in the Bible named after this man? He was suicidal. I'll give you another one. The prophet Elijah, 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 4, But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree, and he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. Another great man in the Bible, and yet, take away my life. It's better for me to die. Huh. Give you another one. The Apostle Paul in the New Testament, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. But I have used none of these things, neither have I written these things, that it should be so done unto me. For it were, were better for me to die than that any man should make my glorying void. Better for me to die. Huh. Interesting. Romans chapter 9, verses 1 through 3. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. That's what leads you to, to suicide. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Paul was so concerned for his people, the Jewish people, that he would have been willing to die and go to hell if it meant their salvation. Was he suicidal? In some ways, yeah, he absolutely was. So don't think that you have some kind of a mental illness or that something's really wrong with you. Um, quite frankly, something's right with you if you are thinking about killing yourself. Because this world is a very vile, very wicked place. And if you have no cause in life, if you have no reason to live, then suicide just seems like a natural conclusion to a miserable life. But I'm going to tell you that there is a reason for you to live. If you're done with your life, there's somebody that wants it. And it's not me. Philippians chapter 1, verse 21. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Huh, wait a second here. For me to live is Christ. See, Paul had some suicidal thoughts. Paul was saying there's many times it's just better for me to die. I shouldn't even be here on this earth and, and whatever else. And there were some bad things he went through. But he had a cause. And that cause was serving Jesus Christ. God, who I had you pray to earlier. Hmm. And you say, what about to die is gain? Well, when you die and you're in the service of Jesus Christ, when the Lord says, okay, it's time for you to come home, you go to an incredible 
eternity in heaven with the Lord. Why miss out on that? Don't take your life right now without understanding what the Bible says about what you can have if you give your life to Jesus Christ. You say, well, I don't think Jesus would want it because I'm, I'm overweight and I'm out of shape and I have poor health and I don't have any money and I don't have any friends. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares about me. That's exactly the kind of person that God is looking for. You're exactly what God wants if you are suicidal. Don't throw away your life when God wants to buy it. Philippians chapter 1, verse 23 and 24 says, For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. You can have a reason to live. I have a reason to live. I'll tell you right now, I've been suicidal in my past. I've gone through very serious depression, times of depression. But I had a, a point in my life where I gave myself over to the Lord and He bought me, He purchased me with the blood that He shed on Calvary. His death, burial, and resurrection. He paid for all of my sins, paid it all. And what's He get in exchange? My life. And He called me and put me into the ministry. And now I have a cause for living. And there's times I still get depressed. There's times I still have bad days. There's times people still turn against me and hate me and whatever else. But you know what? I have a reason to live. Wouldn't you like a reason to live? Besides just the ridiculous nonsense of this world, the, the money and, and, oh, I have to get famous and whatever. Nah, no, no. Live for God. Give Him your life. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. Let me turn there real quick. Jesus Christ speaking. Here's His invitation for you. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Are you done with your life now? Have you had enough? Have you had enough of the relationships that go bad? Have you had enough of trying to make something of yourself with a career and college education or whatever and jobs that fail and, and whatever else and relationships and, and, and all the stuff that this world has had to offer? Are you through with it? Because if you are, then God is ready to purchase you. He says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Are you laboring right now? Is every day a struggle when you get up? Are you heavy laden? Are there things that are really depressing you and you just can't, you can't see a way out of it? You're what Jesus Christ wants. You're right at the brink of salvation. You are right at heaven's doorstep. You're at the foot of the cross. You can look up at Jesus Christ and say, He died for my sins. God, will you please save me? I'm going to put some salvation messages at the end where it gets into more scriptures. But salvation is very simple. And if you are suicidal, you're right there, ready to go. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus Christ died for sinners. He doesn't die for the rich and the successful and the good looking and the ones with the great relationships and whatever else. He wants you. You say, but I'm a, I'm a former drug addict. He wants you. I'm a I'm somebody that's I've had just drunk and I, I've had problems with alcohol. I'm an alcohol. He wants you. Bad relationships, no money. I'm homeless. I'm whatever. He wants you. He'll purchase you. If you are burdened with your sin, if you want a way out of that, if you want a reason to live, He will save you. Call out to the Lord. Call upon Him. Watch the salvation messages if you want more information. If you want to see all the scriptures that go through what salvation is, what happened, how to be saved. And then you can have a purpose in your life. Instead of killing yourself, you can live for Jesus Christ. Please take my advice.